guys, what's up? This is Matt with Operation Awesome Life. I'm gonna shoot a video today about how to stop being a perfectionist and fail your way to success. Everyone that is ever going to be successful or that is already successful has at least once in their life dealt with being a perfectionist. It comes with the territory. If you wanna do something great in this world, then chances are you are a perfectionist or you've had perfectionist types of, uh, of ways throughout your life. I, for one, deal with perfectionism and uh, focusing too much on that. And it's been an effort of mine to continue to get better at not being such a perfectionist and to just focus on getting better as I progress, but not making things absolutely perfect the very first time. You know, there's a, there's a little story that I heard the other day about Porsche. Uh, they came out with a car, and I can't remember the model exactly, but it was actually a Volkswagen first. I think it was a 924 or 944, one of those models. Anyways, it was supposed to be a Volkswagen, but at the last second, they decided to make this car a Porsche. So they stuck a Porsche badge on it, they left the Volkswagen engine in it and everything, and released this car. And the car was not very fast. It wasn't a typical Porsche, and a lot of people did not like that. But they sold some cars, and what did they do? They continued to perfect that model. They increased the horsepower, they increased the engine size, they made it a better car, and it became a successful model. They didn't worry so much about putting this absolutely perfect model out on the streets that that had everything perfect the first time as they did just putting a car out there, testing it out, and seeing if people even like the car in the first place. And I think that's something that is a really good philosophy to live by, is testing things and not making sure everything is 100% perfect before you even test. Because a lot of times, once we put it on the market, we realize that no one even likes it in the first place. So we wasted all this time and energy. We should have just actually tested it out a little bit and tested a few different things out and finding out what was a good way to continue on before we put the extra effort into actually making sure it was absolute perfect model, so to speak. So I think it's a really good idea for us to recognize that things don't need to be perfect the first time. And in fact, if they are perfect the first time, chances are you're putting way too much time and effort into it to make sure it's a, it's a perfect model the very first time. You know, a lot of times, 80% of the job is more than enough. 80% of perfection is more than enough. And most of the time, people won't even notice the extra 20%. If you put high quality, something very high quality out on the market, um, or with anything, with, with your fitness or anything in life, if you, try to, if you try to be too perfect from the get-go, you're gonna struggle, but if you put something that's really high value out at the beginning and you work to get better all the time, let's say that, let's say that you uh, are someone that's never worked out in your life before, and now all of a sudden you're trying to be 100% perfect, you're trying to go, I'm gonna go to the gym six days a week, I'm gonna sleep eight and a half hours every night, I'm gonna make sure I get a gallon and a half of water in every single day, I'm gonna eat this many meals, I'm gonna have vegetables with every meal, I'm gonna have uh, no sauces, no butter, no cheese, no nothing on my meats, I'm just gonna, it's just gonna be super clean, no carbs, 100% perfect. If you do that, and you're someone that's never worked out before, you've never dieted before, or paid attention to your nutrition, chances are you're gonna burn out really, really fast, and you're gonna go, this is not even worth it. Like, why in the world would someone wanna live this way? Because you just went from eating Snickers bars, chilling on the couch, and, and hanging out. Now all of a sudden, you're working out every single day. You're eating perfectly. You're getting rid of all the things that you used to enjoy in your life. Chances are this is just not going to work out for you. But on the other hand, if you started with one part of it, if you said, you know what? My first goal is to work out this week one time. And then the next week, my goal is to work out three times this week. And then work your way up to working out five days a week. And then after you get the workout down and, and you're used to working out and doing it on a regular basis, it becomes part of your lifestyle, 
then you can always increase um, your workout's intensity. You can make sure that you're getting more vegetables in your diet. Uh, make sure you're getting more sleep. Your, your overall lifestyle is more healthy. You know, and the same thing goes with business. If you're trying to work on a new project, try to get that product to market as soon as possible. Don't focus so much on making sure it's the absolute perfect product from the very get-go. If you do that, you're probably gonna be very disappointed and you might expect greater results at the beginning than you really should be getting just because you put that extra effort in. And a lot of times it takes way more time to perfect something than it does to make it really good. So if you make something really good to start out and you put it out, chances are you're gonna have success with it anyways. You don't have to make it absolutely perfect the very first time. And there's always gonna be time for you to go back in and perfect that model, so to speak, and to make it better and better, which can also be a, a good thing as well uh, for your business. And I think it just really helps you to keep momentum in your life. If you are constantly improving in your, your fitness or your business or whatever area it is, if you're constantly improving a little bit, it's gonna make you feel great anyways. So starting off making something really good and then improving little by little is a really great model and it's something that I'm striving to uh, focus on more so in my life. Another thing to consider is the concept of fail your way to success. If you fail the first time, you're going, to, you're going to know what you need to do to succeed the second time. And failing is a necessary experience along our way to success. A lot of people seem to be very afraid to fail and that's what fuels their perfectionism and makes them want to make sure their, their project or um, their plan or whatever it may be is perfect from the get-go. When in reality, What's more important is just getting started and making the first step. If you make the first step and you continue to fail, you're going to, you're going to get closer and closer to success every step along the way because you learn the little things that need to be adjusted. Just like uh, Porsche realized they needed to build a little more powerful motor for this, this car that was originally supposed to be a VW. If you follow that model of failing a little bit to your way to success, I think it's gonna help you to get started and stop overanalyzing things so much. I hope this was really helpful for you guys. I hope it helped you learn how to stop being a perfectionist and how to fail your way to success uh, in whatever area of your life it may be. If you like this video, I would really appreciate your like or comment. And if you feel that it would benefit your friend or family member or someone you may know, I'd really appreciate the share as well um, as I want to just give as many people value as possible. Thank you so much. Have an amazing day.